Now, I hope no doggone well she doesn't want Thomas over here trying to get him false hope again. But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review of Life with Chester for the Bold and Beautiful June 24, 2024. Okay, so hope is the perfect example of how people don't be wanting you, but they don't want nobody else to have you either. I said, now, was you just fantasizing about Finn? You all heard somebody say, did you come back so you could give us another chance? I said, no, ma'am. I said, no, ma'am. He did not. I was not expecting Douglas to call Paris' mom. Now, I did know she was going to pop up. But okay, I guess we're going to start with them. So Hope over here giving Thomas false hope. Talking about some, um, first she was talking to Douglas saying, you've been missed or whatever. She was asking him questions and then, you know, he left to go get snacks. So Hope started telling Thomas about, you've been missed. I really missed you. I haven't been myself lately. I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> yeah, them Zenday designs, but he ain't got nothing on you. <laughs> she over here hyping his head up and stuff. I want to know, though. I want to know if this is for real. I want to know if he really plans on marrying Paris, or is this just another attempt to get Hope or make her jealous or make her see, like, oh, since she ain't want to marry me, I got somebody who will. Because this is kind of sudden. And y'all know what I thought about, because I think I was asking y'all. I was like, wasn't he engaged to Zoe or whatever? I was like, I don't think he had nothing going on with Paris. But then I forgot. I forgot. I think they started to show something. Wasn't they living together or something? But yeah, she started hugging him and all that. I said, look, he 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 allowed her to get too close for me for somebody that's engaged to be married. <laughs> she out here hugging him and stuff. I thought she was going to go in for a kiss for a second. But yeah, do y'all think this is real? But right when she was saying or asking him about if he came back to get him another chance, I said, I had to wonder, you know, why now? Why did you come back? I said, first of all, when he left, he said he wasn't going to be with nobody or settle because you didn't want to marry him. You turned him down twice. So what made you think that he was coming back for you? And then she mentioned how I said she tried to use that as a, uh, I don't want to say a weapon, but she tried to use it against him. Talking about some, um, basically he only has eyes he has always had eyes for one person one woman or whatever and i said she still think it's her i said we about to see though but douglas finally came in and then he he was like mom or whatever paris <laughs> paris said yes i said now hold up hold up hold up doesn't hope have does she have legal custody of him or does they share do they share custody I said, Hope, you've been replaced, ma'am. You've been replaced, ma'am. <laughs> Dog, you've been replaced in regards to Thomas, old lady. And you've been replaced by uh, Paris in regards to Douglas's mom. I said, wow, that's crazy. So when you decide to walk away from, well, you didn't walk away. He walked away because you wouldn't accept his proposal. So you end up losing your son in the process? I said, mm, mm, mm. But y'all know what I wanted to see? I wanted to see if Poppy was going to talk to Tom or anything. I wanted, uh, look, I'm confused. Like, what's going on? I didn't read the spoiler, so I don't know what it's going to say. Does anybody know who Tom is to Poppy? Because clearly they know each other. And then how Tom was reacting, he asked um, Deacon, who is that guy? And Deacon told him. Deacon told him. And the look on his face, I said, wait a minute now. I said, look, this might be interesting, y'all. But I need to go look up the spoilers and see what it says. But they was just showing Tom, he just kept looking at Poppy. And then she kept looking at him or whatever. I said, say something. I said, somebody said something. Then she kept coming up talking. He was trying to apologize. Tom was trying to apologize to her. And basically said he didn't want to lose that job. You know, he used to dumpster diving. Is that what he said? Or whatever. So, you know, now he's working in this uh, popular restaurant and everything. I know they showed on the preview that he do supposed to show up at Bill House outside the door. And he's supposed to say something to Poppy. Look, how I get back on that? <laughs> But like I was saying, he ended up apologizing to Sheila. And he basically was begging her because she was telling him, basically, you're going to lose your job if you keep bad-mouthing me. And he was like, I just basically found on the internet, you know, he believed in second chances. He cut off again. But he was saying how he believed in second chances. He was giving a second chance or whatever. Sheila just walked off or whatever. But we'll see where that goes. Bill, Poppy, and Luna. Hold on. Let me make sure I cover everybody else. Not too much went on or whatever, but the two things that I'm ready to see, I'm ready to see this Paris and Thomas storyline because I want to see if he trying to use Paris again or whatever. Um, and the Tom situation. How does he know Poppy? But Bill, Poppy, and Luna was just talking about the same thing. Poppy was talking about something. Um, I should have just came and found you and told you that you might have a daughter and all this. And Bill was like, I don't want to hear none of that. The important thing is that now we know. And he was talking about going on vacation. And she brought up his boat or his ship or whatever he got. <laughs> his yacht. <laughs> his yacht or whatever. And I said, look at here. I'm side-eyeing her. Is Lee right? Was Lee right? I don't know. We're going to see, though. 
But that's how it happened. Let me know y'all thoughts on this episode down below. Stay tuned for the next review. Until next time, this is how girl is today and be safe.